zombies community? You've probably heard of it. it. Used to be a thriving place. A lot of views, a lot of videos, a lot of people. Nowadays, it's just not that. People abandoned it. People wrecked it. People just gotta scrape by and make do with what they can. The views just aren't there anymore. The place has turned toxic. People got in and then got out of the community. And I don't blame them. But I stayed. I stayed here. I love the community. Even though what it's become, I want to do my best to set it right. Yo, what is going on, sexy beast? Special Detective Agent Bald Rabbit here. So there's a lot of videos out there ranking things from worst to best. And usually, I don't have my two cents, but when it comes to Wonder Weapons... That's my expertise. You're looking at the man. I may be bad at Easter eggs, I may be bad at storyline and and everything else, but when it comes to weapons and wonder weapons, you can bet your ass I'm gonna be on top of that. And I had a lot of people tweet at me that I need to react to this video. So, being the nice, loving, and caring rabbit that I am, I decided to please the people. So we're gonna be watching this, critiquing it, seeing where it goes right, and seeing where it goes wrong, and ultimately, deciding if we need to put this man behind bars. So let's go ahead and get the shit started. Anyways, let's get into it. So we're gonna start things off at our number 21 spot as the lowest ranked wonder weapon in zombies, and this is going to be, of course, the VR 11. Now I can completely agree uh, with that, the VR-11 is absolutely, how do I say this politely, abysmal. Uh, when it comes to kills, if you're playing solo, it's the worst Wonder Weapon. If you're playing with multiple people, of course, it has that effect where if you shoot your friend, he can basically have an insta-kill, so it's really, really good with that. But if you're playing solo, it's not good. So I can completely agree with this 21st spot, 100% on board so far. The most important things with the Wonder Weapon is that, one, it saves your life, or two, it kills zombies, and sadly, I agree the VR-11 does neither of those things. Moving on to our second lowest ranking mm, gun okay. on this list, ladies and gentlemen, it is- We're off to a good start. We have the VR-11 in the winner's house. So, so far, two down, and it already matches my list 100%. So, so far, it's looking pretty solid. Now, as a side note, I'm very curious if this is going to get put back into 5 when we get this map remastered for Black Ops 4. But I gotta be honest, I, I don't really want that to happen. I, on the other hand, would very much like it to happen, as long as they buff it up. Hell, even if they just brought it back how it was, I'd still be completely happy, because I like the Winter's Hell as a gun. I think it's very fun to use, it is shit, but hey, who doesn't like using shitty weapons? But if they do bring back the shitty Winter's Hell, they need to bring back something better. S something actually good. Now, this is a very sad number 19 spot, ladies and gentlemen, because I gotta give it up to the ray gun now back in the day so i'm not gonna critique this ray gun's position that much because i could definitely see where it is for me the ray gun was number four but i can i can see it being placed at number three but that is no longer and once we saw the ray gun in black ops 3 it, it, it just honestly became a useless weapon shotguns were as effective if not more effective than the ray gun and on top of that on black ops 3 100 percent agree with that statement uh i would i don't think i've ever touched the ray gun really in Black Ops 3, I would much rather have the Haymaker or really almost any other weapon besides the ray gun. Okay, so moving on to our next spot, guys. This is going to be the KT-4 from Zetsa. Whoa, wait, hang on. The K Let me just look at my list. Make sure I'm not fucking this up. Okay, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I don't understand why the KT-4 is here. Um, let me let me look up some numbers here that I that I that I uh, have the KT4 where are you at on here? So the KT4 has a possibility of getting 336 kills max There's a lot of wonder weapons that that can't do that So I'm very curious to see the explanation for why the KT4 is here because in my opinion the KT4 definitely deserves to be a lot higher than than what is this fourth? KT4 uh, no. was a pretty disappointing weapon overall um, Let's hear really why just not an outstanding weapon to go along with a I mean it's not that good there's many other weapons better than it but it's still better than a lot of these other weapons on this list not very outstanding map the one thing that I will I will agree with that this map is is is, is not good say that was really cool about this is when you could shoot the pods and it would actually make you run faster I like that but apart from that it was 
it was pretty bad. I didn't hear any explanation as to why the KT-4 was bad, though. It was on a bad map. He didn't really explain why it's bad. The KT-4 is actually a somewhat decent weapon. It's not the world's greatest, but it's going to get you a very, very decent amount of kills, and it's always going to kill. That's what separates the KT-4 from a lot of other Wonder Weapons is it's always going to kill no matter what round you're on. So you're basically guaranteed 336 kills. On average, you can always get more, you can always get less. So the KT-4 does not deserve that spot. It is a very poor performing wonder weapon on a very, very poor performing map, but it does not deserve to be that low on the list. So I, I don't agree with this KT-4's positioning. It does not, it, no, it deserves to be much, much higher on the list. And on our list, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the Baby Maker or the JGB. What? I had to get my hat. Did this man just say that the number would be on five, Cinco? That the, the, the JGB215, the baby maker, did he really, is he really putting his on that hot? I can't even speak. Is he really putting his dis low on the map? And let, let me, let me hear an explanation. Let me, let me, let's, Million let's hear. Number. Let's hear it. This is the Shangri-La Wonder okay. Weapon, and at a time, I might have actually said that I feel like it was one of the best guns in the It game. is. In theory, and you gotta be real technical about it, okay? I feel like you could argue that it is one of the best guns in the game. But mm -hmm. in practice, I really don't like this gun, especially Fair. in Black Ops 3, because the little dudes, whatever you want to call them, the little zo baby zombies, okay, they still do damage to you, right? And you run over them, but... It's about like 15 hits or something like that. The day, they do damage to you still, and I, I never could really get around that. It doesn't matter how theoretically good a weapon is, if you have to run back into the horde of which you are training in, I don't think that's a very good weapon to use. That hurts. Let me let me pull out some more numbers here. Let me let me just go ahead. Theoretically, uh, the JGB215 is capable of one of the most uh, outstanding number of kills, 1,152. Uh, it's way more than a lot of other Wonder Weapons, so theoretically, yes, I, I will agree, it's a poor weapon to use, because you do have to shrink the zombies, and you do have to run through them, that's not fun whatsoever, but you can always use a different weapon, I prefer the Ray Gun and Mustang and Sally, even if you don't have PhD Flopper, you just shrink the baby zombies down, especially in Black Ops 3, and you just shoot them, that takes care of your problem right then and there. Yes, they can injure you, but it's gonna take a lot of hits, like, like a lot of hits, like you're not gonna go down from the baby zombies. You're just not. It's like 20, 15, 20. It's a ridiculous amount of hits that it's going to take to actually down you. So the JGB, especially, like, there's all these other wonder weapons that I'm looking at on this list. You got the Ray Gun, the Lightning Staff, the Blood Gat, Mark II, Mark III, the Fire Staff, the Paralyzed, the KT-4, the Wonder Wolf, the Win... There's just so many other wonder weapons that are just clearly not as good as the JGB, mainly just because they don't do infinite damage. So they're eventually going to poop out. That's not going to poop out. That That's going to do good. For, for, for forever. So I don't agree with that position whatsoever. Let's see what the next one is. To our number seven spot, this is actually going to be the scavenger, which I feel the scavenger. So he put the scavenger at number seven on my list. I'm not biased. The scavenger is number three. Now the scavenger is my favorite wonder weapon, but it, it does deserve the number three spot. It poops out extremely quick, and it's gonna take you multiple and multiple shots to actually kill a zombie. And you have to have flopper. Flopper is mandatory for this scavenger. If you don't have flopper, you're probably gonna down yourself. So in early rounds, the scavenger is amazing, but you need flopper. Once you get past a certain round, it's gonna take multiple shots, and it's not instant. You're not gonna get those blasts instantly. It's gonna take a couple seconds, and that can always fuck you up, and that can always down you. So, theoretically, the scavenger is absolutely terrible. It's not that good, but I still love it. Weird ranking it this low, but hear me out. The scav he just said he felt weird for ranking this this low, dude. It needs to be lower. Scavenger it's not that is good. One capped at doing damage. I think it does max ten thousand damage to zombies, which is not great for not high good. rounds. Yes, it's great for for killing George, R.I.P. But I think at the end of the day, it's an overhyped gun, and although it's cool, it's definitely not one of the best. Now, number six. But why did you rank it? But 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 why you rank it higher than the, the baby maker? Why you do that? Team, we have a weapon that I'm actually pretty sad. I have to rank it this low. Um, it's the ray gun Mark II. As I that's fair enough. So what what are we on? Like six or something? One, two, three, four, five. One, and let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my, on my list, the Mark II was ranked at seven. I think we're on like six or something like I'm not keeping track of the numbers, but I think we are on like rounds. So this is exactly kind of where the Mark II should be. Um, there's a couple other weapons that the Mark II is better than, and I will get to that here in a second. But this is a round where the Mark II should be in any real list. There's a lot yes. of really good wonder weapons out there, and to be completely honest, we 
we, we can't rank it that high. That being said, the Ray Gun Mark agree. II is one of my personal favorite guns of all. So everything he said about the Mark II, I completely agree with. It's not a great wonder weapon. It's very low on the list, but it's still better than some of the other ones, and it's still a good weapon. I love it. It's definitely, again, one of my favorites. I agree with everything he said about the Mark II. Now, coming in at our number 15 spot, this is crazy that this weapon is ranking so low, but it just shows you how many good wonder weapons are out there. This is the Void Bow. God damn it. So in my list, I ranked the bows all together because they're all very, very good bows, and you can get a lot of kills with every single one of them, and really, depending on how you use every single one, you can get more kills with certain ones. So like with the lightning bow, it's definitely going to be best to camp in a corner and just sit there and let that thing do its work. Let me look at the numbers again. So with the bows, you can get on an average around 888 kills with every single one. That's not the JGB numbers, but that's still very very fucking good those are definitely some numbers you want to see so the void should not be here uh it does an infinite amount of damage it's always going to kill it should be much much higher on the list void bow is wild i think it's probably the worst bow of the four but it's still not at all i don't think it's the worst bow of the four i think it just depends on how you use it exactly uh all bows have their drawback and all bows have their pros it really just depends on what situation you're using it in you can definitely make this thing perform at full potential and you could also make this thing suck huge ass it just depends how you're using it but majority of the time it's going to be really really good no matter how you use it um but again there's just a lot of better things out there and the next weapon Not on our list is another bow and this is going to be the fire bow um the fire bow again is so I'm probably just going to skip all these bows because, like I said, in my list, I put all the bows together ranked at, what's that number spot? One. I put them at rank 16 altogether because, like I said, with all of them, you can get around 888 kills. They're not in the top five, but they are right there next to it. So the bows definitely deserve to be higher on the list, considering they all do an infinite amount of damage. Speaking of a weapon that has major drop off, this is going to be the Raygun Mark III. So so I don't even know what number we're on, but the Raygun Mark III in my list came directly after the Raygun Mark II and was behind all of the bows. And the Raygun Mark III is really good, but it drops off, like he said, extremely quick. Once you get to the 40s, 50s, it, it's going to completely drop off. It's still going to be a good weapon. You're just going to be taking a lot more ammo to actually kill zombies, and it doesn't do an infinite amount of damage, so it's going to fall off very, very fast. Up until about round 50, and I've talked about this before, See? the Raygun Mark III is a top Pinky tier out. weapon. Basically, you can camp with this thing easily. You just- 100% agree, this weapon's kind of like a cheat weapon, really. You just camp your ass off in a corner, you can get to round 50 pretty fucking quick. Sit in the corner, shoot out the orb. See? Okay, now coming in at number 11, we have the Wonder Wolf. Now the- The Wonder Wolf is actually- it's not great, but it, it, in my list, it was above the KT4, and it was much higher on the list, mainly because it does an infinite amount of damage. If we pull up my uh, fact sheet again, the Wunderwaffe is capable of getting a maximum of 360 kills. Now, if you're using this thing on World of War Doris, um, you are completely boning yourself because you're going to lose Jug. It's, it's going to happen. There's no option. You're going to lose Jug. If you are playing it on Black Ops 1 and or Black Ops 3, it's still a decent weapon. It's not the greatest wonder weapon, but it does an infinite amount of damage. It's going to kill 10 zombies per shot. You're going to be able to do some work. Not a lot of work, and the double pack-a-punch ability is going to be a little bit better than it, but still, the Wonder Wolf, I think, deserves to be much higher on the list, mainly just because it does an infinite amount of damage. The World at War Wonder Fair. Wolf, in my books, would get a ranking of about, hmm, I don't Shit. know, like, 15th place at best. Because the World at War it's Wonder Wolf took your jug, obviously. Losing jug is not a fun thing. I don't know why that was forever. Only in Doris. But it was. Um, no, we're, we're going to talk specifically about the Black Ops 3. The biggest Fair issue enough. with the Wonder Wolf was always ammo, and with the additions of things like Al Cap I can agree with that. The biggest issue was ammo, but for me, the biggest issue was that it only killed 10 zombies, or is it 12 zombies? Pretty sure it's 10. Only 10 zombies per shot. That's the biggest issue I have with the Wonder Wolf. It can keep the same amount of ammo. I just wish it killed more zombies per shot. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in at our number 10 spot to start right. this number top 10. 10 list down, it is the Staff of Wind. The Wind Staff... The Staff of Wind. So where did I put the Wind Staff? That's fair enough. In my list, I did have the Wind Staff right after the Wonder Wolf. That's fair enough, but uh, kind of uh, makes me wonder because I didn't see any other staffs previous to the Wind Staff. And, uh, you know, it's not good. Not good. Is good. Um, it's got a really great 
shot that comes out when it works, um, which is, I think it, it stops being effective in the 20s. The the storm is we just great, look at but really... Are we just looking at like the unupgraded no, one? The only limiting thing on what this if is we, just simply the ammo. What if we that being at? said, it's coming in at ten. And we look. We just looking at the unupgraded ones because what? what wait, hang on. The, the the tornado definitely definitely kills. It, it kills past round twenty. I've I've confirmed that. Easter way confirmed. It is the worst staff. And at number it's nine, not the worst staff. The it's not. It's no. How are you about to tell me the lightning staff is better? The lightning staff's not better. Staff of fire. Also a very good. In my list, uh, I did not have the Fire Staff ahead of the Wind Staff because in Black Ops 3, it does not do an infinite amount of damage unless they've patched that in like the last couple months. But last time I checked, it does not do an infinite amount of damage. It's going to poop out. And also, this is kind of strictly just high round talk right here, so this can kind of differ from person to person, but in Black Ops 2, if you try to use the Fire Staff on high rounds, you're going to glitch your game out. It's going to lag so bad that your game's pretty much going to end, so you can't use the Fire Staff on high rounds, while you still can use the Wind Staff. So that did play a little part in why I put the Fire Staff behind the Wind Staff, but mainly because in Black Ops 3, if you try to use the Fire Staff on high rounds, you're not going to be doing much, while if you use the Wind Staff on high rounds, you're, you're going to get some kills. Go you. But if you're just looking at terms of early rounds, then I would definitely say that the Fire Staff is probably some superior to the wind staff it just kind of depends on what scenario you're talking about if you're talking about high rounds the wind staff low rounds fire staff at number eight we have the thunder gun which number eight he yeah, had the thunder gun that's kind of fair because after the wind staff in my list i did have the thunder gun uh the thunder gun is obviously better than the fire staff and it's obviously going to be a lot better than a lot of other wonder weapons and also in this list he didn't really define what it takes to be the best like is it best on early rounds? Is it best for saving you? Best for high rounds? Or is it just like his favorites? That's something I don't really know, you know, what we're looking at here. In my list, I did the best for high rounds and the Thunder Gun. This is kind of exactly where it should be. There's a couple other Wonder Weapons he hasn't mentioned yet that definitely should not be ahead of the Thunder Gun. And uh, we'll get to those here in a second. Now, the Thunder Gun is not good at killing giant amounts of zombies, okay? It doesn't have a ton of ammo, but what it is good at, truly, is it is just really good at saving your life. I mean, if we want to talk revel- I can 100% agree with that. The Thunder Gun is the best weapon at saving your life. That and the Impothican Servant, and the Thunder Gun's just a little bit better. Those two weapons are the greatest weapons. If you need to get out of a sticky situation, the Thunder Gun's definitely the one you're going to want. Moving on to our number seven spot, we've got a weapon that is over overpowered to its core just absolutely broken i don't know why Treyarch i think i know what weapon this, this is but it is the way it is we gotta rank it how it is and that's the paralyzer oh okay that's not eh. I mean, it's not where I put it on my list. Because again, in my list, I was looking at high round stuff. You know, what's the best at going to high rounds? And the Paralyzer eventually does just stop working. So technically, you can only get to, I think it's like round 70 or something with the Paralyzer. Then you have to actually use other things. So in my list, the Paralyzer was much lower. But if we're talking about early round stuff, the Paralyzer should probably be number one. But in this list, it's number seven. So I, I just don't know what the qualifications are. Okay, now coming in at number six, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the Vitrolic Withering from Mob of the Dead. Can so, the Vitrolic Withering and or uh, Sweeper, uh, I think the Sweeper is a little bit better, but the Vitrolic Withering is a better, like, uh, tactical weapon, and the Sweeper is a better killing weapon, but both of those were very, very low on my list. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. It was six, and it was right after the Lightning Staff and the Ray Gun. It's not that good on high rounds. It's a great tactical weapon if you have the Asagat upgraded, or the Vitriolic Withering, I should say. If you have that, it's a great weapon because, you know, monkey bombs, like a lot of fucking monkey bombs. But for killing, eh, you're going to have to rely on some traps or rely on the Hell's Redeemer for that. It's a decent wonder weapon on early rounds. It's by no means better than the Thunder Gun, I would say, or like majority of these weapons. But I guess it's like a fun weapon to use. I, I, I just don't think it's better than majority the Thunder Gun, the JGB, uh, just a lot. It's not. It's just not. It's definitely overpowered, but I wouldn't say it's near as broken as the Parallel. That is, that is weapon is not overpowered. By any means, I would I would say it's underpowered. If anything, it, it's by no means overpowered. They're coming in at 
our number five spot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Sliquifier. God damn it. So in my list, referring back to my shitty list, the Sliquifier was number one or number two, depending on, you know, how exactly... I defined a certain weapon, but the Sliquid Fire is without a doubt one of the best wonder weapons. It's going to get you the most kills up until round 100, and in my list, that's what we we're looking at, the best wonder weapon to get you to round 100. So the Sliquid Fire can get you 1,200 kills. That's a lot of fucking kills. That's way more than a lot of wonder weapons. That's like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. That's a lot of fucking kills, and that's why I put it at number one or, you know, number two on my list, because it's going to get you a lot of kills, and it's going to last you for a very long time. It's very easy to use. If it was on any other map besides Die Rise, it would be way more easier to use. But on Die Rise, there's always that uh, possibility you might slide right off that fucking map, so it's kind of dangerous. But still, the Sluka Fire, I think, deserves... It has to be at least at number two, or at least in the top three of any list, just because of the sheer amount of kills it can actually get. And that's on the low end side. It could probably get more than that, but I kind of averaged it out at 1,200. It was just ridiculously overpowered, but although it's that good, I, I gotta say there's some better weapons than it. Okay, now coming down to number... I would love to see what weapons are better than this, because I, I can see the argument to be made for... Uh, the Apothecan Servant and the Ice Staff, but what's the other weapons? I think I can understand one of them, which I can definitely see, but I, I want to know what's number four. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into this, okay? We have one of my favorite weapons of all time, and it is the Lightning Staff. Motherfucker, god damn it. I quit. I'm done with YouTube. I quit. I I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm done, guys. I'm done. Bye. The motherfucking Lightning Staff? Why is that? that the Lightning Staff am best or four good should not be in the same vicinity let's take a look on my list the lightning staff was fifth not top five like fifth starting from worst to best it was after the ray gun and before the blunder gat the lightning staff is a piece of shit all right no matter what you're playing on black ops 2 or black ops fucking 3 it ain't fucking good it is the piece of shit watch this fucking footage It's not good, people. I don't see why. This is something that bothers me a lot because people will still come into my live streams or videos or comment or some shit and try to argue with me that the lightning staff is good. It's not fucking good. It's not. It's barely good on early rounds. It's not that good on middle rounds. And it damn sure ain't good on high rounds. It should not be above majority of these weapons. I This list confuses the shit out. This fucking list just makes me question my sexuality. That's how fucking confusing it is. As I said before, there's two things you want in a wonder weapon. Can this kill a large amount of zombies, and can it save my life if I need it to? This thing can do neither. And this thing does both very no. effectively. It's not at all. This thing does not kill uh, a lot of zombies as or as fast. It, the, what the? Uh, oh my god! This is over the thunder gun. That this is better than the thunder gun. This is better than the boat. No, I, I, I'm gonna play Fortnite. A lot of ammo and can kill quite a few zombies. So I think it's it's got an eight out of ten on on killing, but it's no. got a ten out of ten on saving your life. No, literally. No, 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 no sweetie, no. But that being no. said, there is a no. staff that's better. What the fuck? What's the number three? Three, and it is the staff of ice. Well, this is all right. That can that I can agree with because on my list that's kind of that is actually where I put the ice staff was at number three. It definitely deserves it. It's gonna kill a lot of zombies. It's gonna do it very effectively. Unlike some other wonder weapons, you actually can't get a max ammo, so max ammo's are pretty good. You can kill a lot of zombies. Let's take a look at the numbers chart. Do I have it written down on here? 
Uh, the Ice Staff, you can kill 792 uh, plus. And like I said, in my list, we were looking up until around 100, so that staff is definitely going to do its job, and it's going to do it very, very effectively. Weapon that won't automatically save your life if you're a bad player. I, I gotta put it higher than the Lightning, because it's the weapon that's going to get you to round 100, and if a weapon is going to get you to... Slick of Fire can get you to round 100, too. Lightning Staff can't. I don't get this list. Like, I don't... I'm gonna have to go rewatch the beginning of it because, like, what's the qualifications? What does it take to be the best wonder weapon? I just don't get it. Like I said in my list, we're looking at the worst to best wonder weapons at getting you to around 100. That's how we were ranking them. I don't understand how we're ranking them in this video. I just that's not, that's not something I have against him specifically because, like, everyone does this. They'll make a top five or a worst to best, but they won't tell you what it takes to be the best. They won't set the qualifications. They won't tell you how they're ranking them. They kind of just throw together some list and people fucking buy it. In my top fives and my rankings, I always tell you what exactly we're looking at. We're looking at the top five best weapons for high rounds. We're looking at the top five best weapons for saving your ass. We're ranking them from worst to best and number of kills they can get you. I always tell what we're ranking by, and a lot of people just don't. And that kind of bothers me. But coming in at number two, guys, it has to be the storm. It's really- Motherfucker, god damn, god son of a fucking damn it. Like I said, the bows, you can average around 888. Uh, the only problem I have with the Storm Bow, you can make an argument for it to be actually uh, above the Ice Staff, but I don't think it deserves to be. My problem with the Storm Bow is you can't kill an entire train of 24, and I will prove that to you by watching this. It's not going to kill an entire train of 24 zombies, but you can camp with it. The ice staff can kill an entire train of 24 zombies, and you can camp with it. So that is why I put the ice staff ahead of the storm bow. And also, the ice staff can kill boss zombies, and the storm bow cannot. So I don't really see why the uh, storm bow is ahead of... I just... Fucking hell, man. It's it's ahead of the JGB, which get... Oh my god, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Now, ladies and gentlemen... There's a weapon that you've probably been thinking about, okay? And it hasn't been listed yet. An Has infamous not. weapon, might I say. And before I go any further, I'll stop the anxiety that is flowing through your body right now. The jet gun is not coming in at number one. No, the jet gun is actually only getting an honorable mention on this list. The really weird thing about the jet gun... So in my list, I did the kind of the same thing that he did in a weird way. Uh, you can either put the jet gun as one of two places, the worst wonder weapon and or the best wonder weapon. On paper, the jet gun is the best. It's going to get you an infinite amount of kills because it does an infinite amount of damage and has an infinite amount of ammo. So on paper, yes, technically the jet gun is going to be the best. But in reality and in practice, the jet gun is absolutely abysmal to use. It's a pain in the ass. I would not recommend it. So you can either put the jet gun in first and or last place, depending on how you want that list to be. So I kind of did the same thing in my list that he's doing in his, so that's fair. I will completely allow it and I completely agree. At number one now and... Uh, it's the Apothecary Servants, okay? I know, edgy choice for number one. And in my list, I did put the Apothecary Servant at number two. The main reason or problem I have with the Apothecary Servant is its lack of ammo. It can get a lot of kills. It's going to be able to get you, what did I say, the Apothecary Servant? About 750 kills on average. You can definitely get that number up more. You can definitely get that number down more. But definitely 750 on average. And in my list, I said that you could switch up the uh, Apothecary Servant, Ice Staff, and JGB really depending on how exactly you play zombies because all those weapons are fantastic and all can be used in certain different ways. So really the second spot can go to the Apothecary Servant, Ice Staff, or JGB. Just depends. Because like I said, Sliquifier is, is definitely numero uno, 
but really JGB, I Staff, and Apothekin are all very good wonder weapons and can be switched out depending on how you play zombies because they're, they're all going to get you to high rounds very, very quick. But in my opinion, I definitely do like how the Apothekin Servant can get a large number of kills with just one shot and how it acts immediately and it's going to save you very, very quickly. So that's why I put it at number two on my list. So the Apothekin Servant definitely has to be at the best and like one of the top three or something like that. Uh, it is the most overpowered weapon to ever grace. I don't think it's the most overpowered. Uh, I think it's really good. Uh, I think it's pretty balanced as it is now. I mean, we have a lot of other Wonder Weapons that pretty much do the same exact thing, so I don't think it's that overpowered. I can see the argument to be made for it, but I think it's pretty fine. The lack of ammo, I think, kind of makes up for it. With Gobble Gums, it's overpowered as shit, but if you didn't have Gobble Gums, I don't think it would be as overpowered whatsoever. But I didn't agree with this list. Uh, there was a couple things, a couple weapons that I agreed with, but majority of it I felt like was just kind of pandering to an audience. And uh, obviously it worked because his video for him did very, very well. Uh, this video is not a dig at him, it's mainly a dig at everybody else, because this, this list is abysmal. I don't agree with it. Now, I'm just a bald piece of shit, and I think I'm better than everybody else, but that's not true. Uh, I'm not, and uh, I'm bald, and I'm wearing yoga pants right now. But I do know my wonder weapons, and I do know my weapons. I've played way too much zombies, more than I'm proud of, and I just really don't agree with this list at all. I just don't think it's right, and I don't think it's the proper Christian way. I think this list is blasphemy, and you're just spitting in the face of God at this point. But who am I to say I'm just a bald Mr. Clean-looking motherfucker who makes stupid YouTube videos? And that is all I'm going to have to say about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you would like to see more videos similar to this, where I go around and just be a complete and utter asshole, and uh, make myself look stupid, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and leave a like if you want. I didn't want this video to come off as me being mean to the Smith Blaze or anything. I've never met the guy. I have nothing against him. I just actually did have a couple people come and ask me to look at this list because they didn't like it and they thought it was bad. And I completely agree. And that's my opinion. What's your opinion? Let me know down below. And real quick, I want to say a shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome and sexy as hell. You see this thing? You see that? That PPSH right there? When I go and shoot it, you guys get it first, so make sure you guys keep your eyes out for that. And thank you guys again so much for being my Patreon supporters. I love you so much. If you want to be a Patreon supporter, go and check it out. Link's right down there below. And also while you're down there, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram because I told you to. Check out my sponsor, check out my merch, and uh, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.